Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we are solving a new problem in linked list. So basically we have given a linked list and we need to delete the last occurrence of a given element. Right. So the focus is on last occurrence. Right. So let's say uh, I have this linked list and I have given a head node of this one and now value given is 13. Right. So it means this is the last occurrence because there is no other 13 than it. But let's say if I have another 13 here, then it means my last occurrence is this one. So I need to delete this node, right? So whichever is the last occurrence of your element uh, in the linked list, we need to delete that node, right? Or that element, right? So that's what my aim is. Now uh, we can have several cases in this case, but the main theme is that we need to find out the element we need to find out the last occurred element in that linked list, right? So what you will do, uh, basically we have the head node. So we can start from the starting node, the head node, and we can keep on checking that wherever this element exists. So we'll store that, it will store the reference of that node, right? And then we'll delete that node, right? Does that sound good, right? So let's check like in this case, when we have the duplicate. So now what would happen? that my value given is 13, right? So in fact, uh, I should print it as like this, not like this, right? So my value given is 13 that I need to delete the last occurred 13 in the linked list. So what I would do, I would start from the head node. I would keep on checking where, when this node data is 13. So like in this case, it would find, so we'll say that is good, but again, uh, we'll find 13. So we'll say this is my node right so whatever the last occurred node will keep the reference but again we can have several cases so the first case is let's say if the whatever the value given is this is not exist in the linked list right so what would happen in this case that let's say if my if my the find element is a temp variable right because whatever the value is if the value exists then i'm storing the reference in the temp right so what i'm saying that at the last uh, at the last i will have this temp as null so if it is null, then I can say the element doesn't exist in the linked list. So in this case, I can simply return the same linked list, the same head node, right? So this is the first case. Now the second case can be, let's say if my uh, if my head if my head is the if my value to be deleted is the first node, and that is the last occurred node. So let's say if my value is 22. So in this case, 22 is the head node. Right. So in this case, I will check that if my temp is equals to this uh, 22, that means this is the first node. So then if it is first node, then I can simply return head of next. So this will be my final link list. Right. So this will be the second case. Now the third case can be that whatever the value given is is a last node. Right. So like in this case, uh, my value is six. So in this case, what we need to do. Basically, if we have this six, so we need to basically start from the starting node and whenever we have the last node, so basically at the last we'll change the linking and at the last we'll say, because this is the last node, so we'll say this 13 dot next is null, right? So this is when we have the last occurred value as the last element of the linked list. Now we can have, then we have the fourth case. The fourth case is, let's say if my value uh, sits in between, so which I was talking about this 13. So whenever we have this case, when we have the values in between, so what we do, so like in this case, we have 13, which is my element to be deleted. So now I know that this values resides in between the link list, right? It means this is not the last node. This is not the first node, right? So in this case, what I can do, I know that it has the next node exist. So I can simply copy the next node of value to here and then I can change the linking. So basically this, uh, I would say that the node of next should point to node of next of next. So it means this 13 would point to the next of this six, which is null, right? So this is a technique that we will apply. So let me show you the code that how I am doing this. So uh, here I have this uh, link list where I have these six nodes and in six node, I have this function delete last occurrence of item and where I'm passing the head node and the value to be deleted, right? So uh, let me start from the basic cases and let me also show you what I'm doing. So as I explained you, uh, I'm passing this head node in the node, and then this is a value 
and I'm taking so at the starting I'm checking if node is null then return null because then there is nothing to be checked right if it is not the case then head equals to node because this is my head node and this is a temp node so temp node is basically uh, this is a node where I will refer to the reference which occurred the last time right so now now by this way I am storing the reference of the last occurred so one by one uh, I am iterating in the linked list of each node and I am checking if node of data is value then store the reference into temp value in the temp else node equal to node of next right now what cases can be there so one case that we say is if temp equals to null means element doesn't exist into linked list in this case we'll simply return head node now if our temp is the head node so in this case we'll simply return head of next right now if our temp if our temp dot next is null means if it is a last node so as we exp explained we'll basically store again the node equal to head and one by one we'll go till the end and then at the last we'll say node of next equals to null right and then we'll return the head node but if it is not the case then what we'll see we'll basically copy the next uh, next node of data to the uh, this current data so we'll say basically temp of data equal to temp of next of data and then change the linking of to temp of next equal to temp of next of next right so by this way we have changed the linking as well and at the last return the head node right so one by one uh, we'll uh, ch check the debug node and see that how it's happening so like in this case it basically won't find the 7 in the linked list so in this case it would say the temp is null and simply return head right and it would print the same list but now let's say if my uh, item is the first node 22 so just run this because I have explained the logic so you can see now it has deleted the first node right but let's say if my node is the last node so uh, let me show you it by debugging so what would happen that it would, it would basically check that uh, if it is your last node so it will say here my temp node next is null so it will go here and it will keep on checking that when node of next of next is null so what does it mean it means that basically that if it my if this is my last node right and my value is 6 so in this case basically I will iterate till here I will check if my node of next of next is null means this is the case then I will simply say node of next is null so this is what I am doing here I am checking if node of next of next is not null then iterate node equal to node of next and at the last do node of next equal to null right so this is what it will do and if you see here it has deleted this 6 right now check some basic case so let's say I am checking now of 13 and this 13 has occurred uh, twice so let's say 113 has occurred here and another 13 here so execute this so it will say that so 113 is here but again it will keep on checking and again it find out 13 so it will override the value of this one so it will check that temp is not null temp is not head temp dot text is not null so it will simply copy the this one and it will return head so if you see that it has deleted the last occurred value right because there were other 13 as well but it has deleted this one right so that's it guys about this video we have covered all the cases that whether if your uh, node doesn't exist or if your value exists at the first or at the last or at the middle right so if you talk about the time complexity the time complexity is big of n because we are basically uh, first of all we are finding the element so finding the element is big of n then uh, when we have this uh, web, if we have the last node then again basically one time we need to iterate if it is in the middle then we are doing in big of one so overall time complexity is big of n right so that's it guys about this video and if you have any doubt regarding these cases or if you have missed any case please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that